what's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. So, it's the 5th of January. I am at home from work. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning, organizing, take the Christmas decorations down and stuff like that. Because you guys don't wanna see that, what I'm gonna do is take you back to New Year's Eve when Matt and I went skiing with some friends. It is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve. I might feel terrible. I might also sound terrible, but I feel so much better than I did yesterday. Yesterday, we spoke to my family, we watched a couple of YouTube videos, and then from about 12.30 to about 9 p.m., I legitimately didn't do anything. I didn't even watch TV, I didn't play on my computer, I just sat and stared at the ceiling and tried to sleep. But I feel much better today, so I am forcing myself to go skiing, primarily because I don't think it's fair to Matt, he's been wanting to go skiing this Christmas and because of me and being sick, we haven't gone. So I'm gonna pump my full, myself full of disgusting Lemsip that is lemon flavor, it's gross, but it's the only medication that we have left in the house. Book up syrup, we ran it dry. But I'm gonna pump myself full of that and we're gonna go skiing. Home from skiing. That was fun. We actually called it a little bit earlier. We didn't spend the entire day there. I think we left a couple of hours just before it closed. Um, I'm still feeling rotten, but it was nice to get out and it was nice to actually leave the house and actually leave the sofa. I've been practicing my toes. I'm still rubbish on my toe edge, so I need to get better at my toes, but I don't know what we're going to be doing this New Year's Eve. Probably a quiet night. Maybe we'll just fall asleep on the sofa. But yeah, um, Duck has two lifts, and every time we go, the green lift's always open. I've never actually seen the red lift open. Whereas today, we actually went on the red lift because the green lift was closed. The red lift has much nicer runs, in my opinion. There's a really nice blue, and the green on the red run is actually nicer than the green on the green lift. So yeah, I think it's cup of tea time. Cup of tea. Oh, you're getting old, aren't you, bubs? But yeah, I think it's cup of tea time. Maybe a granny nap. I need a brush. Why do you need a brush? I need an adult. Why do you need an adult? I'm a mess. I'm trying to be healthy. What happened? I get my salad out. Oh, you just threw your salad <laughs> on just... the side, over there. Yeah. And it's a bit over there. Yeah. There's some over there. Yeah. There's a bit more over there. And then there's all this down here as well. Well, I need an adult. Morning. So we have a lot to do and are not a right lot of time to do it, it seems. So Matt and I are both trying to get back into gym mode and take a healthy step forward this year and make the gym a bit of a priority. But obviously, we need to get back into kitchen mode and kitchen renovation mode at some point. However, before we do the kitchen renovation, there's a little garage renovation we would like to do that will help us get back into cabinetry and get back into practicing and building cabinets. But before we do that, we might have to do some electrics to the garage and potentially the house. So while we wait for an electrician to come and before we move renovations forward, we're going to do a little basement renovation demolishing thing. In the basement, there is a wall where we put up shelves years ago. It's not connected to the roof. 
it's poorly made. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock down that wall and open that up where the furnace is and the box room and make that room a bit more of a storage area. Make it a bit more of our attic space because obviously we don't have an attic. So let's go knock down a wall. And obviously first things first before you knock down a wall, you have to get all of the junk out of the way. We have a lot of junk as a, as a, as a homeowner and you don't realise how much junk you get and how much junk you acquire. So we've got tiles and grout and scales and pull-up bars and ellipticals and punch bags and cardboard and crap that obviously we don't need to keep. So luckily, in knocking down this wall, we're going to also get rid of a lot of junk that we just don't need. So yeah, I'm excited. Anyway. Now let's knock down the wall. Slightly more organized. I like it. So much room for activities. This shelf might eventually move. We'll see how we like it. But this entire side of the room will eventually, we'll close that off. And then we'll close this off. And all of this side, minus the leg press, that'll go in there, will be storage. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Phase one of getting back into kitchen renovation mode, I think safely we can say, completed it, mate. Right, on to phase two. We'll catch you guys in the next video. And this is my world now.